Hello guys, this is Lassie 3 welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own Roblox script executor. Uh, in this part of the video we're going to be talking about, or this part of our series, which is part 2, uh, this is a sequel to our previous part, so if you haven't seen that previous part, um, we kind of self the setup and foundation and base of your client, and um, if you're executor, then I highly recommend you go check that out now. But yeah, basically in this episode we're going to try to get like better UI, we're gonna add a nice icon, and overall we're just gonna change up our system. We're gonna add some new buttons too. So just open up Visual Studio, and hopefully in part three, um, we're gonna add like a bootstrap and key system and all that. So open up uh, your executor name, so it should be here. So whatever you named it, just open it. Right. Uh, wait for it to load. Right. And then um yeah. So just go. So first of all. Um, our executor is looking a little bland, so if I actually run it, um, we'll see it. Yeah, our executor looks like this. It looks good, but, you know, it just, like, these buttons are a little messed up. And we might want to add, actually, a new button, so we actually might want to even change the button. So let's do that. So first, just click the button once, right-click and click Properties. Uh, and yeah, we can change the script, or the, like, the text or anything. But actually, what we want to do is remove that outline first. So go to the, um, look here, find out, look to find flat style and click it and just change it to flat. Now that's just going to set it to black, like our, that's just going to set it to our background, which we've set here. So we can actually change our background and see if I want um, like buttons like that. I'm just going to make like a little red, actually I'm going to make it a chill guy color, so we are making it chill like cute. This looks nice. Okay, I'll just do that. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be olive, and then yeah, actually, yeah, olive is fine. So I just write olive, and yeah, then I'm just gonna change up my little text. So I'm gonna actually go here, and I'm gonna choose my uh, font and stuff. And I'll show you actually here. This is a sample of it. So actually, I'm gonna choose. Um, I have a specific one. I like Sego UI, and then uh, yeah, I think that's uh, good right there. Okay, actually, wait, hold on. I think I have actually a little another. Actually, yeah, you got the color to use. And um, yeah, that's it. But I'm actually gonna change the text to make it 10 point. Uh, no, 10 point is a little bit. Okay, 9 point is good. I'm gonna have it like that. And uh, yeah, and I'll just go here and do that. So I click, click properties. Um, in your properties tab here, we're gonna look for. Let me actually drag this down so we can actually see it. Uh, for the text here, I'm just gonna do it like how I did before, so we did you gothic, and we're just going to change it to 9, alright, and then we're going to go to, actually I want to make our text bold, so we can click that little plus and it'll give us more options, and I'm just going to change this to bold, okay, that's a little better for me, um, and then I'm going to change the flat style, actually I'm going to change the color, the back color, so like, go look for the back color and just change it to olive, might, you'll see this little white outline. To change that, just go to your flat style, like how we did before. Go to your flat style, which is... Give me a second. Right here. Okay, yeah, flat style is right above the font. Just change it to flat. Alright, and I'll uh, do that. Okay. Now we can just... Yeah, actually, this looks pretty bad, but... Yeah, um, I, I like it. It's a, it's a little nice. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna add some new buttons. So we can actually click our execute button, press Control C to copy, and then we can paste it. We're gonna make this our clear button, so let's just add it right here. And we're just gonna. Yep. So now we're gonna actually change this button to make it say clear. So we just need to right click it and uh, click properties. And we're gonna go down to text and we're gonna type in clear. Now we're gonna clear our little uh, text editor. Then we wanna go to. Actually, no, we'll be fine for this. I'm gonna make our button for our Discord server. We wanna like add a Discord server to us, so we're gonna put that in there. Actually, we'll put it next to inject. And um, let's actually make this all blue. Like that. So just go here, click, click here, font, and just change this to bold. All right, we did that. Okay, and then um, go here. Since it still says clear, we need to right click and click properties. And we need to write this to say, uh, at the bottom here, we need to write just Discord. Alright, um, and yeah, that should be it. So, we're first, what we want to get into is, actually I'm going to change the background again. Um, 
can maybe have it a little bit of a different background to match our things. So maybe like a olive dab. Okay, that doesn't look good. Even though it just got used to it. Um, let's see if it's somewhere. Okay, that, that's a that's nice actually. Maybe I'll do gray. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. I like this. It matches that chili guy. Alright, so first we're going to go to our clear button. Just want to make that. So double click it, and this will create a function for when you click it, which will be right there. Button 3 click. Now just go press tab, get over here, and now let's just write, start writing right there. So for our clear button, we need to go into our web browser, which is the Monaco, and we need to run a script that says clear. So for that, we're going to write web browser one document invoke script bracket and then apostrophe set value and we're going to do new object and we can't write set value in there we have to make an object for it we're just going to go like that and write like that and, that, and right here is going to be our blink so this is what we can set so i'll actually show you guys um if you want to change what we're going to set it to like whenever you clear it, if we write like success like uh cleared it's going to show in the thing Cleared. But if you just want to clear it fully, we just leave that blank like that. And then we're just going to leave at the bottom a message box by doing message box dot show. And it's successfully cleared. And then we're just going to add our little uh, semicolon at the end. And then we press control shift S and we'll save it. Then we're going to add our Discord button. So we're just going to go to Discord, double click it. And here we're going to add, we're going to write um, our Discord. So for this we need to use a uh, command called process start which is going to open our new tab so we just go like this and we'll write process dot start no, not that process dot start bracket new process start info and we're going to go like this i'm actually going to remove that and write the code here i'm going to do file name equal bracket and here we're going to put in our discord server. so actually let me go get my uh, support discord server for this I have a recommend you guys want to go join that if you need uh, help or anything with yours or like want to add something new just like that. and we're going to paste that right there and we're going to add a comma and then go enter and type in use shell execute equal true and then we're just going to leave it like that and then here at the bottom we need to add a bracket and then our uh, semicolon and we can just press enter at the bottom here and we can make like the new lines and we can write message box dot show actually we, we don't need a message box because that's not like a mess it up so but it won't mess it up but it'll make it look a little weird so we'll just keep it like that all right we did that and then now we're going to add a kill roblox button so like you know like when you're let's say playing roblox and your roblox crashes but you're spamming close and it won't close we'll add a button actually that it just kills it so here we're just gonna go here copy it Control V and paste. And actually, I'm going to move this Discord. I'm sorry. I'm going to move this Discord over here. I'm actually going to put the kill Roblox button here. I'm going to take this Discord and put it there. Here in the clear button, I'm just going to double click this. Um, and actually, no, it's not supposed to be clear. Right click this, click properties, and change this to kill Roblox. And actually, I'll just write kill. And if your text is like that and it goes off, then you might want to change your text size. Like how we did up here from 9 point to like maybe 8 point. Yeah, I'm just going to write kill. And then, um, yeah, just double click this and it's going to create button 5, which is going to be our uh, kill Roblox function. So now, I'm just going to open this, do it right here, and I'm write the code. So first we need to check if Roblox is open, because you can't kill Roblox if Roblox isn't open. So first thing I'm going to do is write if bracket functions functions dot is roblox open and i'm gonna go here make bracket oh my god there's an ad uh, give me a second okay there uh if roblox is open and this is the code we're gonna do we're gonna do functions dot kill roblox bracket and then apostrophe and then we're just gonna write a message box that says message box dot show successfully closed Roblox. Hi right there. This music okay. successfully uh, killed. Alright, and I'm just gonna add that layer. And then here at the bottom, we're gonna write else bracket there. 
I'm gonna write message box. This is what's gonna do it if Roblox isn't open. I'm just gonna write message box dot show bracket open Roblox. I'm just gonna write Roblox was not found. Uh, Semicolon. Cool. And then now for that we got our kill Roblox button. We got all these new buttons. Now we're gonna add some new things. So first we're gonna add. Um, we're gonna make it so you can't open more than one of your instances. So go on the side to your solution explorer, and if this doesn't show up, just click the top uh, view and then click solution explorer, and it'll show up inside. Double click program.cs, and this is the code that's gonna run when we open our program, and we wanna write code in here. So we're just gonna go enter, enter, make a little space for ourselves, and we're gonna write some code. This code's gonna be a little long, so if you need it, you will be around this code too. But we're gonna first create a void, which is like a variable, but it's just gonna be like a, it's like a little, it's, it's, it's a different type of a variable. There's like many types, but I'm gonna do bool new and this new instance, and I'm gonna write using mutex. Mutex is like a program identifier. All right, using mutex, lowercase mutex, equal new mutex, true, and then we're gonna write uh, in here, forms. We're just gonna write the name, we're just gonna write execute. And then we're going to do bracket or a comma, out is new instance. All right, and then we're just going to write the code for that now, which is going to be here. It's just going to be like that. And then we're going to do bracket, enter, and here we're going to write our code. So we're going to do if bracket, uh, exclamation mark means if not is new instance. And right, then we're going to do a bracket and do another bracket. And then here we're gonna do message box dot show bracket is and then we're gonna write uh, like client is ready so we're gonna write like executor already open then we're gonna do actually after that we're just gonna go yeah executor already open and then we're gonna do this here then uh, then after that we're gonna do our return function. And, uh, yeah. So then after that, once you do that, just go once you made your return, you should be good now. So once you add that return, that's just returning always a variable, make sure that it's always full. And uh, yeah, we should be good actually now. Good. So yeah, we did that now, and uh, we've actually added all our stuff. So now we're just going to add like simple UI changes. Let me open up my web browser, and I'm just going to find like a logo for me. So if my name is Chill Guy, I'm going to just get the Chill Guy. Go to images, and we're gonna find one. Oh, sorry, it's the wrong thing. Let me just adjust this. Okay, we're gonna go here, click our chill guy, and right click, and save image as. Actually, we don't want to save as a web key. Let's just go to something like this. Right click, save image as. And make sure we're saving. Okay. Everything's like a web key. Uh, make sure we're saving it as a PNG or JPEG. Yeah, we're saving it as a JPEG. And then go to JPG2 ICO. And click this. And click choose files. So like, just find something that converts it. And then there's the downloads where we download it. Select this. And you can click convert. download the icon which is converted and we're just gonna make sure it's there. Now we're gonna close that and we're gonna click our blank form like right here. Right click and click properties. And here we're gonna go to icon. Click this and we are going to actually select our download to where we download it and select that. And now we'll have the little chill guy at the top. Then we're actually gonna rename this chill. Chill V1. We can actually add like chill version v1 right and then now i'm going to show you guys here if you actually go into your thing i'm going to show you actually that here once we load it see how we loaded it and stuff see how we can like change the size and mess it all up and it won't actually adjust with this so we're actually going to keep it we're going to force it to be one size so we're going to go to properties and here you want to look for the size just where it says size copy this so control a and then control c and then go up to you find maximum size Go to maximum size and paste that in. So just paste and press enter. And then go to minimum size and paste that in and press enter. And then if you go to let's say here, so we have chill v1. You can't do this. 
and change it like that. We can't change it right now. Like even if I try to full screen it, it does nothing. And next I'll show you guys how to actually remove this little top bar, this little white bar, and add like a little X button, um, multi uh, maximize button and minimize button. We'll actually show you guys how to add all that. But now we're just gonna focus on some simple stuff. All right, now we are actually ready to go test ours and make sure all our functions work. So let's actually let me open up Roblox in a different tab. I'll just sell it Roblox. And uh, yeah, if your client guys is not working, you can say like a script error, or you may have missed a step, but you can't find out which step it is. I'll have to link in the description. And you guys should, you guys can join that and stuff. Also, just a reminder to subscribe, you know, like the video, and uh, hopefully a uh, part three will be loose. Alright, uh, I'm here now, and we can actually go run our client. Actually, I'm gonna go run it from the file, uh, like the direct file, so I'm gonna actually just copy this. You guys actually don't have to do this, you guys can just click start and uh, test out your client. But yeah, for now, I'm going to just run it from this file, just to show you guys that um, it can still stay running. Like, it, like multiple instances can't be opened. And then I'm gonna go, like, you guys don't have to do this, like I said, you guys can just click the little one button. Here, see chill executor so i'm gonna just double click it trying to run it and it's gonna open first right but if i want to like double click it again right, i'm just trying to do something oh, okay but actually that doesn't work we'll fix that in a second but um actually i'll fix that in the next video i think i did not save programs okay. oh, i'll fix that in the next video but um First, we're going to check this chat security success and check it. Then we're going to go here and try and click command. And hello. And we're going to click execute. That's what I executed in a way. Now, let's see if I have like a long, like I do have this much. I want to clear all this. I can just click clear. And click clear. Then I'm going to say I want to open my Discord. I'm going to say I want to click on my Discord. It actually just opens on this tab, but yeah, it takes me to Discord. So here, let me show you guys. Yep, and it opens the Discord. Also, join my Discord. Um, join my Discord, but uh, yeah, it'll be in the description. And then, um, yeah, if you wanna, we can execute, and then we can click kill, and it just killed Roblox. So let's see if Roblox crashes, and we can do this. All right, so you guys just made your own executor. Uh, we just finished up a lot of UI and stuff. And if you guys ever want, uh, maybe like if you guys have suggestions for the next video or anything, you guys want to see what we do with the next video, let me know. But yeah, next video I'll uh, fix the uh, multiple instance bug, and I'll also fix, you know, we'll hopefully add a bootstrapper, maybe a the parts, and a key system that you can share with your friends and make keys so, you know, other users can't use the keys. And uh, yeah, that's how it works, guys, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.